Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and a lot of you guys have seen this new uh, Siri app uh, with the release of the iPhone 4S. Um, and you're wondering, what is Google going to do to respond uh, to the Siri app? I promise you, they have something that they've been working on uh, for the past four years, uh, ever since Android came out, and that is the Google voice search uh, functionality in Android. So we've had this thing since the release of the Android operating system, and it's very useful uh, for some things like um, voice commands. We can press it. Call Jack, and it is gives me the option to go ahead and call that person. I could say, text Jack, and I can go ahead and even say, hi, how are you doing? And it notices what I'm saying and punches that in. It has even some uh, more functionality. Um, who is the President of the United States? And it'll go ahead and in a short matter of time it'll find the answer, Barack Obama. Um, and that has lots of good functionality there, but it's missing the human ele element uh, that Siri brings to the table, as well as the fact that Siri uh, supposedly um, is even a little better at voice recognition. Uh, there's a group of developers that have developed this new application called Iris, and it's very much in its alpha stages. Uh, it's by Dex... Itra. Um, so don't expect much out of this right now because like I said it's in the alpha stages um, a team of hackers worked on this for about eight hours in a hackathon this is what they came up with uh, they're saying if they get lots and lots of people to respond to this then they will work even further in it try to develop it into something that's more like Siri uh, but this basically takes your Google voice search functionality and tries to humanize it here so you could um, Let's see, you can press on the microphone and ask, well, we'll cancel, it caught me there. Uh, who are you? So it does have pretty good recognition here. I am me. Okay, so see, it's not even really scouring the web uh, for an answer. I could say... What is the population of the United States? Yes, what is the population of the United States? So at least it's recognizing my voice. That's pretty good for this alpha build here. Count it all up for me first. Okay, so it's not giving me uh, very reputable answers here. It says count it all up for me first. Um... So it's really, for now, it's not that useful. But they're working on it and uh, trying to humanize the Google Voice search. I'd like for it to return a pretty decent answer because I've seen other demos where it returns some good answers. Let's see. What is the population of Colombia? Billions. Okay, we know that's not correct. Uh, so anyhow, you see that it's going to have like some funny responses here, but it's not very functional uh, for now. If I even asked it something like, you know, call Jack, it's not going to look through my contacts and find call Jack. Find call Jack. Find call Jack. See, it's it's not going to find or call Jack. It's going to have a funny response here. But it's a start. So I'm grateful that we have a development team that's working on that. I guarantee that Google is going to come out with a better Google Voice search. Fine is fine. Fine is fine, is fine. Okay, great. So you guys get the picture. Uh, Google will probably continue working on Google Voice search to come up with uh, something great. The This development team that created Iris in eight hours, um, they've done a pretty good job you know, for working on this for eight hours. And I'm not even sure that I have all the plugins installed for that because I just grabbed it directly off the market. I believe there's some sort of plugin that you're supposed to have for that to make it more functional. I'll try to have the links to that in the description. So you can grab 
uh, the application off the market. I'll also have uh, the beta version of this app uh, linked in the description that should have some more functionality to it than what I just showed you from off the market. Uh, so head on over to droidmoderx.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your droid phone. And uh, follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E not a 3. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks, guys. Intoxicated world.